hello so this video gives a little understanding on how you can uh, set up a document on the signature application for signing in just a quick four-step process okay so this is the uh, dashboard of the application from here you can uh, begin with uploading a document from your local uh, file browser or you can upload documents from your respective Google Drive OneDrive or Dropbox account so to begin the process I will just quickly upload a document from my file system I've taken a sample non-disclosure agreement for to send out for signing okay so you can see the document is uploaded here uh, in this particular section you can see the document details uh, name version of the document you can specify a category if required uh, you can write a description for the document for signers to go through it or to know what the document is all about uh, you can also attach supporting documents if required uh, like annexures or something to go with your main agreement so this is the document details now from here you can select the signers for this document so you can pick from your predefined groups signer groups so you can see all the signers in that group in your list or you can simply uh, choose individual contacts from your list to set as signers okay so i'll just uh, quickly uh, pick one or two of the contacts for signing the document okay now if the contact is not in your uh, signing list or your signers list you can just add them uh, from this particular control add add individual contact you need to provide the name and email address of the signer save them as contact and they will appear in your signers list okay uh, now you can see these two signers are uh, selected for sending out this document so from here you can set a signing order if the document is uh, is required to be signed parallelly means any of the signatory can sign at any point of time once the document is sent to them or you can set a sequence for signing like uh, who needs to sign first that can be defined from this particular uh, section okay you can also add observers like witnesses to your document who will just be notified of all the activities that is happening with the document okay so this is all about the first step moving to the second step uh, since the application provides a, a wide range of signatures like digital biometric and electronic signatures you need to opt which signature type is required on the document so default we have selected the electronic signature so uh, we need to take electronic signature on this document okay so moving to the next step you need to set up on this particular step you need to set up where the signatures are required on the document so uh, just navigate to the pages from uh, this particular section and draw a signing placeholder wherever the signature is required so over here i am taking my own signature so it is coming from my profile we can see the options uh, that are available for signer to provide the signature on the document so you can select from the predefined fonts or you can just simply draw your signature or upload a file upload a signature image like that so th these are the three options for user to capture the signature on the document these are certain placeholder actions you can move the signature or you can apply it on all the pages okay additionally you can set up the document for initials name date etc uh, now uh, to define the signing position for the other signatory you need to switch or select them from here and set up a, a signing placeholder for all the signatories in the similar manner and move to the next step so on this step you can see all the 
uh, parameters or all the uh, configurations done in the previous steps for setting up a document okay you can define the signing due date if required and uh, if at all the automated reminders are required to be sent to the signers before the signing due date that's it so in this quick four step process you can set up a document and send to the signatories for signing thank you